simply have to focus on this man. Three goals in three games, a nightmare for opposing defenders. This is oh, yeah. EA TV. If you miss, I will get to solve some of the things. I take over Man United career mode. If you missed the previous episode, the I have lost against Napoli in the Champions League in the group in stages. Manchester. Best far, we still the group winners in the Champions League right now. And Nahali was lucky. I had, I, we were going down 10 men. The time we to take up a wild card is Sam. Oh. If you guys put in the comment in that previous video, was that a wild card or was that a yellow card? Because to me, it looks like a yellow card because I'm pretty sure my play, Malinus, didn't really tackle there against the opponent player. I was basically trying to get the ball. I touched the ball, but just somehow it was red carded. Like, it shouldn't be red carded, it should be a yellow carded. But put in the comment below of that video, do you think it's a yellow card or red carded? Let me know in the comments. But let's do it to it. But right now we are the. Why right now we are two points. Oh, two points ahead on Arsenal. In the prime. We're still in the, in the race, in the lead title. And I just gave them a. Right. I gave Brighton a pen. And a throw in here for United. Can't believe I saved that fucking pen. Normally, that would never save well, a pen. A it's been all quite a long time that I've actually saved a pen. Well, their attacking play has been brilliant. Could be ah. able to get his body in the way. Brighton was lucky. Well, a change to the scoreline in the Chelsea game. Let's get the news from Alex. It's a goal for Chelsea. It's now 1 0 with 10 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Oh yeah, guys, let you know in January transfer window. I am going to promote some of the players, but I won't be paying them, and I'd be sending them out on, on the season long loan, like a one or two year loan. Then they could challenge. get some players, and the time they could get some experience in their belt and learn good by really good, really favor. good damn goal, That's damn good course. managers. And you need your defender to take charge. Hen. But I will show you guys of, of my play, my He's youth players in the youth to come. I will sign up long and then well, hopefully give them some playing time, there, get them some experience, or maybe chances, some grab some goals or whatsoever. Except the ones that are uh, aimed. We'll be able to until they get older. A bit older. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. And over comes the corner. It comes to absolutely nothing. Dunk. Well, able to close down the short. And a goal has gone in at the Emirates. Let's hear about it from Alex. It's a goal for Fulham. They're back level. It's one all with 30 minutes played. Ah. Oh. was Alex. Rashford could play it in and an effective clearance. Opportunity in the wide area. Keeping the opposition at bay with that splendid challenge. Marcus Rashford. Well, there it is. United have had most of the ball, but without really creating too many chances. Which, when you look at the players out on the pitch, it's really disappointing. They need to play with far more urgency to win this game. Ah! Oh! And the referee blows for half time. Level pegging in this game. No, no, Bruno. Oh, if that. If it been Sancho, Sanchez didn't save that, the play the out would be in to be 1 0. Trafford has commenced.
Oh, she's Wilson Sanchez. Well, from that range, no, me Sanchez is main, 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 main goalkeeper. Reminder, we have more action from the but I was expected that. It's Manchester United. It's actually steal. Time will name. Moving forward effectively. Can he convert? Still a chance. Well, the goalkeeper. Ah, oh, so close, Anthony. Well, his recovery is brilliant here. So athletic. News coming through from the Chelsea game. A goal has gone in, I believe. Alex Scott will tell us all about it. It's a goal for Wolves. It's all in. Oh! Goal in this context. Guinea Victor. That was a lovely curl. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. I was expecting that's going to be going the wrong way. I didn't going to kill into the back of the net. Denis Undav. Good ball in the middle. Well, that's going to be a goal. Good David. Who's going to get on the end of it? It hasn't come to very much. Dunk. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV. And we have more action coming up from the Premier League for you. It's Brighton and Hope oh, Can he score here, Derek? Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And now the delivery. Oh, why it would I getting the touch? Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Well, a change to the score line in the Chelsea game. Let's get the news from Alan. Oh, let's make some subs now, guys, because then the next game I have to rest some of them. Bring. The natural one, let him give some player time for himself. Elkson off. And flipping on. Masala. Thanks. It's a second goal for Chelsea. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 73 minutes on the clock. Thanks for the update, Alex. Just the clearance that was called for. It's a fine United move in the making. A well, disappointing end to the move. Ten minutes left for play. And slipped through beautifully. Antonio. Oh, you don't want to lose the ball in that position. Well, an attempt to forget all about, unfortunately. Yeah, got it all wrong. Trying to pass it into the corner. Opened up his body, but didn't make the right sort of contact. Difficult to stop him. But ah! It comes a bit. Perfect ball now. How about yes, this? offside. Well, I must say it did look so promising. Well, but the flag is raised. Offside, the verdict, Stuart. Well, he's just too. I just saw something from Brighton. Right we are live side, not just one, but two Liverpool players now. They got two and former Liverpool players. And that one. Manchester United. Well, and it's a really tight game, but they James Milner, who also a former Man City player himself. on one man up against his former club will he make an impact live on EA TV definitely Luke should obviously will make an impact against the factor hello a warm welcome we've dropped anchor here on the south coast of England at St Mary's Stadium I'm Derek Ray ready to bring you match commentary and alongside me is Stuart Robson 
I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Southampton up against Manchester United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, Southampton get well kicked, like, like something happened in real life, I did. Bruno Fernandes plays they did. with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch and the striker today is Victor Osimhen. No way through. Well, far from the ideal pass. Manchester United were the victors against Brighton and Hove Albion. How might this one go, Stuart? Yes, I thought it was a good 1-0 win in front of their own fans. Today will follow a similar pattern and I expect them to win by the odd goal. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the news stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. Up against his old club, and that's never easy for a footballer. A mixture of emotions. Well, I have to say, I never really played well against my old clubs. I always felt the spotlight was on me. I think he might find it difficult today. Good bit of pressing. A oh, terrific pass. Again, Anthony. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Sam Van Gogh's in 16 matches. He can't stop now scoring. Seriously. Again. What sort of response will we see from them now? I got man you signed them in real life. Ozzyn Hen. Can they convert? Oh, I hit the freaking post. And in the end, no damage done. Well, that would certainly have put them in a great position. But with only a one goal huh. lead, they're never going to be able to relax. Well, it should boost their confidence, but they can't afford to drop their guard at the other end. And they need to get tighter. That's all they can conjure for now. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think Ooh. that was a penalty. Come on, come on, Marcus. Oh. Southampton sloppy in possession. Real chance. Yes, Anthony. Two nil now and back on the way. They've given it away. So there goes the half time whistle. It's Manchester United on top here. Well, before the game, we talked about their defensive record, but it's the forwards who have been still in the limelight today. They've been so sharp, plenty of movement, and if the first half is anything to go by, I can see there being more goals in the second half. Yeah, no, I might got some names in my head who I should and bring in. When teams go all what one or two teams go all related. So the ball rolling again, and United very much in charge of this one. So let's see how the second half pans out. Good use of advantage by the referee. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. And it's come off the keeper. Well, nothing untoward happened. Offside. Well, I Actually, still can't no. believe that didn't go in, Derek. No, it's not. That's an incredible save. When I saw the flag well, gone up, I thought it was offside. It, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing the yellow card. Arribo. Poor pass under no real pressure. Rashford. Options in the centre. 
Giving it a try. Oh. Good work to deny the opportunity. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And he stopped them in their tracks. Ward-Prowse. The ball with James Ward-Prowse. And Osic with it. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see, and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Yes, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. Well, I'm hearing the referee has pointed to the penalty spot in one of the other games. Let's hear more about it from Alex. Yep, it was a penalty. I didn't even get fouled! Survived, but he hit it straight down what the, the hell? An easy one. It's now 2-1 with 68 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Could reduce the deficit. And Go on, David. Great form. And he's just pulled off an absolutely stunning save there. That is brilliant. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd says... I'll probably let your contract despise that, sir, I think. And a significant block following that cross. Had a play for a Southampton throw. Had a chance to whip it in here. Advantage, Manchester United. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Just 10 minutes to go. Chalet Atsar. <sighs> but I'm hearing the situation has changed in the City game. Alex Scott is going to tell us more. It's a second goal for Manchester City. They're pulled ahead by two with 83 minutes on the clock. Alex with the info as ever. And tremendous individual Marcus. Space on the flank. A delivery towards the back post. Yes, the goal to settle the issue once and for all. Friggin' score ahead. We got three bases for Marcus Rashford. I sweet. I watched. Well, I fucking wait. I watched the thing picked up where he was, and he was freaking How open. He that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. And the referee blows the ball time. Ten goes to 16 matches for Victor Osman. What did you make of it all? Well, they've been great defensively, as we know. But it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more. Again, uh... Chaos Control!